So we're back working on this 73 and I mentioned this to the owner last night. There's the tailpipe on the right hand side and this is the fuel supply line and vent line here. I think one is the supply and one is the vent. The vent is disabled. I see the tailpipe hanger is cracked on here and it's leaking a bit but being so close to the tailpipe that fuel line could get hot enough to vapor lock. Um, needs to be pulled forward, reposition this muffler forward about an inch because the tailpipe's on hangers here so it could slide forward about an inch. This pipe here is roughly three inches. This one's about two and a half. This side is a little closer, but that's a return line going into the tank right there. And I think that's been modified because it's got an aftermarket fuel injection system. So this is a return line. Repurposed it. But we're going to pull the wheels off and look at the wheel cylinders. I don't think they're leaking. There's a possibility that the brake fluid could have leaked into the brake booster. So I might pull the, if I don't find any external leaks, I might pull the booster off, or not the booster, but the master cylinder off the booster to look for fluid out the back of it. Pulled the rear drums off, checked the brake adjustment and it's good. Brake shoes and hardware are all new. Wheel cylinders, as I suspected, are new. No evidence of seepage out of the wheel cylinders whatsoever. You see it's a slightly different brand of wheel cylinder, but that's irrelevant. And the brake adjustment was good. Everything is virtually new in here, so I'm going to pop the master cylinder off the booster and see if there's any fluid leaking into the booster. So I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but there's brake fluid right there. It's leaking from the back of the master cylinder running down the booster. You can see the stain on the booster. So the back seal, the primary uh, piston secondary seal in the master cylinder is leaking. This looks like a, a new or a reman master cylinder. It's not the original one. So I got to discuss this with a customer whether well, they're going to rebuild this one with a new seal kit or replace it. I don't imagine it's got any kind of warranty on it because it was probably done several years ago. Let me see if there's any brake fluid down here underneath here. Yeah. Why didn't I see that yesterday instead of pulling the wheels off? Well, we got to look at the back wheels anyway, so the brakes are fine back there. So looking at the parts availability for this, there's two master cylinders, one with manual brakes, one with power brakes, so I'm going with the power brake option. A new Raybestos master cylinder retails for 82 Canadian and a Raybestos Master Cylinder Repair Kit is $62.73. So for $20 more you get the whole entire Master Cylinder as opposed to the kit. So I guess that's a no-brainer. So I've ordered a Master Cylinder for it. There's no point bleeding it until we put it on and bench bleed the Master Cylinder. So we're back working on this Camaro this morning. We're going to change out this Master Cylinder. I got a new one coming. Looks like 9 16 lines. Loosen them off. This master cylinder has been replaced before, but Okay, now that the lines are loose, I'll remove the fasteners. I'm trying to stop brake fluid from leaking all over the place. get a ratchet for this
Yeah, you can see the brake fluid in in the back circuit here. Hope it hasn't leaked into the booster. I don't think it did. I'm gonna have a wipe that out. If it's safe to pull this seal out of here, I think so. Yeah, it didn't get past this rubber, it leaked out the bottom. I'm going to clean that up. So I've got the uh, area cleaned up in there. Somebody watching my video noted that there was no vacuum advance line connected to the vacuum on the uh, distributor, but this thing has electronic spark timing. I see this hose here, but it comes from the windshield washer bottle and it goes to the plastic nipple on the washer pump. This had a mechanical washer pump piston type pump right here. So this nipple is broken off. I know you could buy this as a service kit at one time. I don't know if you can still get it. It's probably obsolete now. But I would think given the fact that there's a lot of these collector cars around, somebody's going to have that part. So this is the master cylinder we're putting on. Like everything, made in China. So I mounted the master cylinder in the vise. And I'm bench bleeding it by plugging the ports and stroking the piston. Now, don't stroke it too far because you can damage the seal by going past the compensating port. Just stroking it like a half an inch. And I've got the plugs in the ports. Now, I'm going to pressure bleed it as well. As soon as you don't see any more air bubbles coming out, you're probably good. The back port is, the back uh, circuit is good. The front circuit still got air in it. Now some people do it with little tubes going back into the reservoir. I just do it this way. That's pretty good. Now we got a steady stream of fluid. Put the lid back on. It helps to keep it from seeping out because it creates a Well, I forgot to record that installation process. If you start the lines before the master cylinder is tightened to the booster, 
it's a little easier. Make sure the lines go in with your fingers and not cross-threaded. Mind you, this is a cast iron master cylinder, so it's less likely to cross-thread. Um, torque these two bolts, I believe 24 foot-pounds. And we're going to pressure bleed the entire system because I don't have a helper here to pedal bleed this. So I got a pressure ball with a bladder in it connected to the top of the master cylinder with a plate and a fitting. And I've got about 25 pounds of brake fluid pressure in the bleeder ball. And hopefully that's not going to leak. You can hear air coming out. It's coming out around my fitting. That's all right. Let's crack this bleeder screw or crack this line. Oh, that's air leaking around the top of the seal gasket. Getting steady stream of brake fluid there now. I have to reposition that plate. And brake fluid coming out the back. Try moving my clamp back a bit. I might just go down to the bleeder screws at the wheels and do this again. Yeah, I'll get ready to set it up on the hoist and then I'll bleed it at the wheels. Keep that hose closed. So I'm bleeding it at the right rear wheel first. Benefit of this is you don't have to have a second person. Might as well flush the brake fluid out, it looks pretty old. Didn't see any air come out. Mind you, it's coming from the master cylinder, so. If you're wondering what this clear line is, it's an oxygen hose. Somebody gave me from an oxygen breathing apparatus. It's got a nice little flared end on it that fits over it. Oh, there's some air bubbles. The fluid's getting clear now. It wouldn't hurt to flush this brake fluid out because this is probably 50 years old. Looks like looks like Tim Horton's coffee, black. I think that's it. Pretty much no air bubbles left. And it's nice and clear of the fluid. And we repeat that at all four wheels. So while the brake pedal feels good, the pressure differential switch needs to be recentered. Now, I suspect the loss of pressure was in the rear circuit, so we're going to create a, a leak in the front circuit by depressing the brake pedal and loosening the brake line coming out of the front of the master cylinder, and hopefully that light will go off as that switch recenters itself. 
So I've loosened the front line and I'm applying the brake. It should create a pressure differential. I can feel the pedal sinking. The switch may be stuck. So that pressure differential switch is stuck. I got a good brake pedal and I tapped on it, you know, with a hammer. This is a proportion valve, metering valve and pressure differential switch. And it's not centering itself. This is the metering valve, I believe. So, hmm. Sometimes a couple of hard brake applications can recenter it. I'll try that with it running. So two brake pumps with it running with a vacuum booster and it uh, turned the light off. The pedal feels okay now. I might uh, bleed that front master cylinder line because I might have drawn some air into it when I released it because I didn't have a helper here. Well, we'll take this thing for a road test and see how the brakes work.